Hello everybody and welcome to the video. In this video about vertical heal healing overnight, I will tell you one of my biggest achievements that I made when treating vertical heal naturally that will help improve the state of your vertical heal. Definitely 100 and yeah. Hello everybody and welcome to the video. In this video about varicose healing, healing overnight, I will tell you one of my biggest achievements that I made when treating varicose heal naturally that will help improve the state of your varicose heal definitely 100 and yeah. What is, what is varicose heal healing overnight? It's enabling the healing by proper cooling during the whole night. The varicose heal sleeping position and inversion is basically important for a long-term pain relief and the long-term less symptoms of vericocele. So, the first step in order to create the optimal starting conditions for the nightly cooling and healing process, I recommend that you make sure that your vericocele can empty itself completely before going to bed. You can do this, for example, by putting your legs up the wall about five to 10 minutes. Your knees can be either bent or extended. I will put on a picture here where you can see what I mean um, by a picture. Yes, try it out for yourself and see which way it works better for you. Tip: Place a pillow under the hips to improve and accelerate the drainage, like the it's kind of like um, emptying the varicose seal um, in the state of having your legs up on the wall. The second tip is when you when you go to sleep, you always lay on the back and you can put a pillow under your neck around this position between the mattress and the slanted frame. That means you don't put the pillow it's just straight under your bed. You will put it under the mattress of your bed when you think this is your bed. And here is a mattress. You will put a pillow over here to get the mattress lifted by around two to three degree and yeah that's basically is to find the, find the perfect position for it you have to try a little bit um, back and forth but i'm convinced that you are, that after two or three tries you will succeed alternatively find a suitable lateral position you can check a suitable position by first emptying the vertical seal taking a deep breath and then remaining in the chosen position for five minutes if the scrotum is then uh, cool and the vertical seal empty, you have found the correct position. The pillow should be chosen neither too small nor too large. Ideally, the hip should be 5 to 10 centimeters higher than the upper body. There should only be a slight incline of, as I um, mentioned before, 2 or 3 degrees. To try, tr just try and find out the correct position for yourself. So the next, next thing is the correct side sleeper position. I can um, tell you from experience, if you have a vertical seal on the left side, is it best to sleep on the right side, just to make mechanically sure that the vertical seal has it more easy to um, be emptied over the night. Also, some slatted frames even have an integrated raising function. This should be then be used in such a way that the pelvis and the legs are positioned higher than the upper body. To do this, turn the slatted frame by 100 degree so that the side that can be raised is on the legs and not the upper body. In this way, the normal state of healthy blood circulation in the scrotum is restored throughout the entire night. I will show you also this with a little picture. You maybe have a bed and it's like this. And then usually you can put this position a little bit more up with the frame so that you lay like this. But you just switch it around 180 degrees so that your legs go, go more up like this and you have like a grounded function over here. This way the blood is more likely to flow down and you get an emptying of the very seal of blood throughout the night. The fourth tip, if choosing a pillow, pay attention to the position of the spine. Because if the pillow is like too hard, your spine will be like this all night 
and this can increase your spine and um, also worsen symptoms for Ricoseal and you should always uh, lay as flat as possible and if the Ricoseal is full of blood like maybe in the state um, grade number three you should use the function of the frame um, to get it like empty all over the night yeah that's basically it in the next video i will show you an amazing method to reverse testicular shrinkage that came from Vericoseal overheating so i hope it helps and see you in the next video